China clay industry has been in existence since the 1740s and today produces a wide range of products for a variety of end uses. For example, paper, paint, rubber, plastics, ceramics and pharmaceuticals. The China clay deposits of Devon and Cornwall are associated with the major granite outcrops that extend from Dartmoor to Land's End and are the product of their interaction with fluids of relatively elevated temperatures. This process began approximately 280 million years ago and slowly continues today at lower temperatures through the infiltration of rainfall. The driving force behind the fluid circulation is considered to be the substantial heat potential of the granites themselves, which results from the decay of radioactive elements that occur naturally within them. Commercial exploitation of these china clay deposits is a combination of mining and mineral processing that separates the mineral content into the coarse solid waste for disposal onto tips and fine clay slurry for further processing through to final product. Because of the large volume of slurry that has been processed over an extremely long time, small amounts of the naturally occurring radioactive elements can concentrate as a thin barium sulphate scale on the inside of IMRIS mineral processing equipment. To deal with this issue, IMRIS developed an in-house cleaning facility called the Blackpool Refurbishment Plant. The plant was commissioned and went live in April 2003 and was built to clean this affected equipment. It has been granted an authorization or permit by the Environment Agency to store and clean this equipment on site, with the resulting disposals being classified as exempt, inert. The plant was designed to operate on an ill-discharge concept with no emissions to land, air or water, and as such is at the cutting edge of this type of industry. The plant utilizes ultra-high pressure water jetting technology to remove the scale buildup from such equipment along with an automated unit to clean long lengths of pipes. The manual cleaning is carried out in a sealed container. Operators wear air-fed chemical suits and carry out jetting duties for approximately one hour per man per day. All items of equipment which are removed from the process, either for maintenance or repair, are monitored for radioactive buildups. Readings are taken using a mini instrument 900D and all equipment is monitored both internally and externally. Any equipment with readings above that of the natural background level are sealed in a polythene bag to prevent any spread of contamination. Whilst carrying out this work, operators wear mandatory personal protective clothing. When bagged, the item is then given a unique ID number for reference, and this information is then added to the site storage inventory. This is the site's record of its accumulation. Every 12 months, the site's total inventory is collected by the refurbishment plant staff, and this equipment is returned to the refurbishment plant for processing. Once each consignment arrives, its contents are added to the refurbishment plant inventory and the container is then stored pending cleaning. The cleaning process starts with the wrapped item entering the plant. The details of the item are taken and a job card is raised. The job card is a record of each stage through the process. The item is then unwrapped, monitored and given a tag so the item can be traced and identified at each stage through the process. The item along with others is then placed in the jet bay for cleaning. Jetting is carried out in a sealed container 
Here the operator will don his air feed chemical suit and after an inspection of the equipment will then carry out cleaning for approximately one hour whilst being observed at all times. The UHP water jetting unit produces 2,500 bar of pressure, producing an effective and efficient cleaning method with just water, which is then recycled and reused. On completion of a jetting session, all items are removed to the health physics area. Each item is then thoroughly monitored with an Electra DP6AD, both internally and externally, to ensure that it meets the release criteria. This then completes the job card. The items are then certificated and leave the plant to be reused or, if damaged, recycled. On completion of each jet session, the wash waters are pumped from the jet bay into a holding tank and are accumulated until the desired volume is generated. When ready for cementation, a measured quantity is released into a drum. The drum is then placed under the bespoke cement mixer where the remaining water is then added. Dry products are then introduced into the drum through the Vibraire unit. The unit provides extraction to reduce the operator's exposure to dust during this process. The drum is then thoroughly mixed and de-aired to ensure cracking does not occur during the curing phase. With the lid replaced, the drum is then monitored. The results of this are entered on a waste log which also generates the drum's unique ID number. The drum will now be laid down in the plant for 28 days to cure. During this time, the batch will be sampled and independently analyzed to ensure the company meets the exemption order for disposal to landfill. Although the existing refurbishment plant has been operating safely since 2003 and is acknowledged as a leader in dealing with norm, it does not have sufficient capacity to deal with the amount of norm that will need to be treated by Emirates in the future and the plant will need to be expanded. This is primarily due to the contraction of Emirates' China clay operations in mid-Cornwall over the last five years and the need to decommission now redundant sites. The expanded plant will also facilitate the development of the Ecotown Regeneration Project by Ecoboss Developments Limited. Ecoboss is a joint venture between Oriscom and Emirates develop the eco-town on land owned by Emirates in the mid-Cornwall China Clay area. The existing plant has a zero discharge to air, land and water and the expanded plant will be designed on these principles. On the 29th of October 2010, following agreement between Emirates and Oriscom, a second joint venture company called Reclaim Limited was legally endorsed with Emirates being the majority shareholder. Reclaim Limited now carries out remediation work, including norm associated with the contraction of Imris operations in the mid-Cornwall China Clay area, and works closely with Ecoboss to facilitate the development of the Ecotown Regeneration Project. The existing Blackpool refurbishment plant has now been renamed the Blackpool Reclaim Plant. Reclaim will also take forward the design, implementation and management of the expanded refurbishment plant.